This is absolutely shocking. I mean, two WWE superstars may face exclusion from the highly anticipated Royal Rumble 2024 as SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis contemplates banning them from the premium live event. At the Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns is set to defend his undisputed WWE Universal Championship in a high-stakes fatal four-way match against AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and LA Knight. The odds seem stacked against Reigns given that he can lose his title without being pinned. Now, despite the challenges, Reigns has consistently retained his championship with the assistance of Jimmy Uso, Solo Sikoa, and even Jey Uso in the past. Now, recognizing the potential interference, Nick Aldis might opt to prohibit or ban Solo Sikoa and Jimmy Uso from participating in the 2024 Royal Rumble Premium Live event. The SmackDown General Manager aims for a fair contest, understanding that the Bloodline's presence could tip the scales unfavorably. Now, the unfolding events for Roman Reigns at the 2024 Royal Rumble Premium Live event remain uncertain till today. As previously discussed, Roman Reigns is slated to defend his undisputed WWE Universal Championship in a thrilling fatal four-way match against Randy Orton, AJ Styles, and LA Knight at the 2024 Royal Rumble Premium Live event. While criticism suggesting predictability in Reigns' matches has circulated among fans, former WWE World Heavyweight Champion Mark Henry boldly asserts that this particular showdown will defy expectations. The world's strongest man anticipates that the 2024 Royal Rumble match will leave the world astonished and contends that those who perceive a familiar pattern in Roman's matches will be in for a huge surprise. The upcoming 2024 Royal Rumble Premium Live event promises to kick off the year in a spectacular fashion for WWE, marking the commencement of the road to WrestleMania 40 in a huge way. Are you eagerly anticipating the 2024 Royal Rumble? Who do you think will win the fail four-way match? This week's SmackDown episode unfolded with a gripping sequence of events triggered by unaired footage following last week's show. Reacting to the revelation that he was booked in a fatal four-way match for Royal Rumble 2024, Roman Reigns vehemently demanded that Paul Heyman rectify the multi-person match situation. Before Cameron Grimes could even make it to the ring for his scheduled match against Grayson Waller, Solo Sikoa and Jimmy Uso of the Bloodline launched a preemptive attack. The assault was halted by WWE officials, including SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis. However, Aldis wasn't content with merely intervening in the moment. He engaged in a heated confrontation with Paul Heyman and subsequently decided to book Uso and Sikoa in a high-stakes six-person main event. Their opponents? None other than the formidable trio of AJ Styles, Randy Orton, and LA Knight. Since Wings was not slated to appear at Nebraska, the question remained who would be the third teammate for the Bloodline. The subsequent clash did unfold as planned for the Bloodline as the powerful trio of faces not only was victorious against Jimmy and Solo but also unleashed a post-match beatdown. With the situation intensifying, speculation arose about whether all this would flex his authority as SmackDown general manager to retaliate against the dominant force of Roman Reigns and his allies. Here are four potential ways all this could wield his GM power in response. Number 4. He could ban the bloodline from ringside at Royal Rumble. Given the Bloodline's pervasive involvement in shaping the dynamics of the upcoming match, the most straightforward method for punishing Roman Reigns would be to ban them from ringside at the Royal Rumble. All three members of the group disrupted the Triple Threat main event, and both Solo and Jimmy interfered in the opening bout of this week's show. This strategy could be interpreted as a form of takeover, prompting SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis to address each individual within the bloodline. While a fatal four-way match inherently lacks strict rules, a potential measure to ensure a fair and uncontested outcome could involve banning members of the group from ringside. 
Such a decision might pave the way for other participants to potentially join the fray or allow the contest to unfold with th without the unusual interference from the bloodline. Setting the stage for a cleaner resolution. Number three, all this could suspend the tribal chief. Now, in an effort to address the persistent disruptions caused by the leader of the bloodline, Nick Aldis might consider opting for a suspension for Roman Reigns, thereby keeping him off television for an extended period. Suspending the head of the table would offer a plausible explanation for his absence from future episodes of SmackDown. This narrative choice could also serve as a convenient storyline excuse for Reigns not appearing at the upcoming Elimination Chamber event. WWE has a history of temporarily suspending stars to facilitate their temporary absence from storylines, as seen with Ronda Rousey in her final stint within the company. By choosing to suspend the tribal team, all this could underscore the gravity of the situation and demonstrate a no-nonsense approach to maintaining order on SmackDown. Number 2. Attendance on SmackDown is mandatory for Reigns as long as he's a champion. Now, during his reign as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns has notably enjoyed a lighter schedule compared to some of his counterparts, such as Seth Rollins on WWE Raw. This infrequent presence and sporadic title defenses have spawned a division among fans. To address this, a strategic move by Nick Aldis could involve taking a jab at Reigns attendance record and stipulating that tribal chief must appear on WWE SmackDown regularly as long as he holds the championship. Now, This decision would not only fuel the ongoing feud between Aldis and Reigns, but also ensure that WWE's top star is featured on television every week. Given the significance of the road to WrestleMania as the pinnacle of the WWE's calendar, Having the company's premier talent make a weekly presence would be crucial for building momentum and storylines. Now, enforcing this change would also acknowledge and counteract the special treatment Reigns has enjoyed prior to all this involvement. Number one, could Roman be stripped of his titles? Now, this is interesting. To assert his authority in the most impactful manner, Nick Aldis might choose the most drastic retaliation against Roman Reigns by stripping him off his titles. This bold move would not only showcase all this immense power but also significantly alter the landscape of SmackDown. While such a decision may initially create upheaval, it would pave the way for intriguing developments. Stripping Reigns of his titles could set the stage for a showdown between Reigns and The Rock, freed from the constraints of championship implications. This would allow for the emergence of a new top champion of WWE SmackDown, marking the end of Reigns' three-year reign. Additionally, this move would offer a creative solution for bookers who wish to avoid having Reigns pinned and maintain his aura of invincibility. Ending his historic run, without a defeat in the ring would provide a unique and impactful conclusion to his championship reign. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then, see you all in the next one. Thank you guys.